Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 30th of 2020. Well, it is titled Fear and Dread the Moons of Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image or actually several different images put together to show Mars towards the central portion there, but also looking at the moons of Mars. And you can see down towards the lower right, Deimos, and up towards the upper left, you can see Phobos. And those are Mars's two moons. Now they are much smaller than our own moon and are likely asteroids that happen to be captured by Mars. So they have a different origin than the origin of our own moon. Now to get an image like that, you can't just take one photograph in order to see Mars and its moons. And that's because Mars is so bright. Mars will be very bright by comparison and would overwhelm the brightness of the moons. So if you just took one image, you would be able to see Mars. But the moons, in order to try to bring out the moons, you would have to vastly overexpose Mars. So that was done here in multiple images. You took an image of Mars. Uh, time is noted for that up above and that the other images were then recorded and the overexposed Mars would have been removed. You could remove that uh, to be able to see the planets, the two moon, the moons here as well. Now Mars's moons, uh, as I said, are very small compared to our own moon and were actually not discovered until 1877. So even though a telescope was developed back in the early 1600s, it took more than 250 years before the moons of Mars were seen. And that's not because nobody was looking at Mars, but simply because they are so small and faint and difficult to see. And it wasn't until until 1877 that they were actually first detected and observed. Now this image was taken on October the 6th about a week before Mars's opposition when it was most prominent in the sky. But Mars is still a great view uh, for the for the next month couple of months when it will rise just around sunset time and be nicely visible for most of the night. So it'll be high in the sky when the sky is at its darkest. So while you may have missed the opposition when Mars was at its best, there's still a good time to be able to see Mars and take a look at it over the coming months. So that was our picture of the day for October the 30th of 2020. It was titled Fear and Dread, the Moons of Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxy of Horrors. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.